slashed by an unprecedented 24%. Good evening. I'm Martha Sigalski. And I'm Greg Warmoth. We've been asking what that means for Florida and more specifically our Space Coast and all of the people who work there. Channel 9's Melanie Holt live at the Kennedy Space Center. Mel, NASA watchers tell you that fewer missions, of course, mean fewer jobs, unfortunately. And right now here at the Kennedy Space Center inside the VAB, the SLS moon rocket that will launch Artemis 2 is almost complete. Preparations are already being made for Artemis 3. But right now the Trump administration is saying Artemis should end there. No, not, this is unprecedented in many ways, not just in terms of numerically how much we're talking six something billion dollars, but also it's it's not just a, a little bit here, a little bit there. It's, you know, surgical with a with the chainsaw. Kate Cowing, a former civil servant, has been a NASA watcher for three decades. They want to go to Mars because we want to be China. Uh, what they've done, though, is they've cut budgets instead of increasing them. The Trump administration is proposing a $647 million increase in spending on human space exploration providing over $7 billion for lunar exploration and introducing another billion for Mars-focused programs. But the administration would also reduce funding and phase out SLS and Orion flights in favor of commercial systems to the moon. They uh, might do two more missions, and then that'll be it. And so that means that all of those personnel here on the Space Coast working those programs are going to be laid off and, and having to find something else to do. What? And Dr. Don Platt, an associate professor at Florida Tech, says there's another issue. There aren't even systems in development right now in the commercial world that can do things like what the Orion capsule can do in terms of bringing that number of astronauts all the way to the moon. The flip side is the commercial space folks who would be coming in. People have to work on that, but it's not the same as a long sustained program. These cuts also impact space science, earth science, gateway, and even the International Space Station. I did reach out to Congressman Mike Herodopoulos today in a statement he told me in part, this proposal is the first step in the budget process, not a final decision. America's fiscal health is at risk and we must make smart choices that keep our nation competitive. He added, I share President Trump's goal to maintain America's leadership in science, technology, and space while making sure every dollar serves our national interest. We are live here at the Kennedy Space Center. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Mel, thank you. We'll see how this plays out.